This is Team Ganawagi coverage at the 2014 North American Indigenous Games. A grueling day on day four, Thursday, for our U19 lacrosse players. They were originally scheduled to play back-to-back -back games against Wisconsin and Saskatchewan, which was tough enough, but then found out they were somehow scheduled for a third game at 5 p.m. against Ontario. We had this problem a couple of years ago in provincials, and the same rules apply here. They're following the same rules, but they're not abiding by the rules. It's sanctioned by CLA. They're following their rules. CLA rules say that we're not supposed to play three games, so they bent the rules. It's their rules, and they're not following the rules. We're looking more at recuperation right now. We're hoping to fit in some ice baths. Uh, we've got uh, electrolytes going in the room, uh, chocolate milk, which is a really good recuperation drink if you don't have access to a protein shake with uh, carbs, and uh, probably going to eat now, so uh, that's good. It's, uh, it's very, very hard because there's risk of cramping, dehydration, very risk of uh, heat exhaustion, so um, definitely a challenge, but I think we'll pull through. In the early game versus Wisconsin, our boys cruised to a 20 to one victory with goals by too many players to mention. Needless to say, it was a team effort. At the 11 a.m. game, the opponent was Saskatchewan. EDN needed this win to finish first in Pool A. The boys got off to a good start and it was 4-1 EDN after the first. Despite being shorthanded for pretty much the entire second period, they still managed to score four goals and finish with a five goal lead. They needed to play with discipline in the third and stay out of the box, and they were able to do that and take the game from Saskatchewan 13 to 10. Well, it was a pretty rough game. We weren't uh, really awake in the first period. Kind of got there in the second period and taking some stupid penalties, retaliating towards them. We should have just uh, played as a team, as one. You know, I think we would have been fine. Right away. We would have like smoked up, ran up the score. But we kind of snooped to their level. That's why they kind of they were with us. So not much really to say about that. They will now play the number one team from Pool B. Ontario in the same day. I don't know, it's a lot. Probably take a nice bath after this. It's a must. It's like feel relaxed, re energized for the next game. Hopefully, we can take it. I'm pretty sure we are. Very confident. This is Team Eastern Door and the North coverage of the 2014 North American Indigenous Games.